Hi there again. Welcome to OVZ, Otaku vs. Zero. I'm your host, Patrick Macias. And I'm Yuazakawa. And once again, we come to you from Tokyo, Japan, with exciting stuff relating to anime, manga, games, and this time we're going to do robots. Robots! Robots. <laughs> okay, so what do you think of when I say mm. Japanese robots? What comes to your mind, the first thing? Uh, chef like human and a bit old style. How do you mean old style? Uh, means they can not walk. Uh... Oh, kind of old fashioned. Uh -huh. Hmm. Um, did you research any robots when you did uh, some of your voice acting? Mm -hmm. you, have you ever played a robot character? Robot? Uh, robot. I don't know what the difference robot between robot and uh, android. Okay. Kind of bad. Mechanical people. Um, yeah, maybe the same. I think. Mm -hmm. that, have you played an android? Uh, Vocaloid is uh, Android. Oh, Android. that's right. Mm -hmm. And your emotion, do you, do you try to feel like I'm a machine now? I'm, I'm not a uh, human being? Do you, do you get in a robot state of mind? or? No, I didn't. Because really. Vocaloid is kind of uh, different style to acting. Just I gave her my pieces of my voices. Oh, I understand. Um, I understand. I didn't Just have little to bits. act. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, also, you, you piloted robots before mm -hmm. in Super Robot Tyson. Uh, yes. All right, so you, you must know a lot about the subject of mm -hmm. giant humanoid robots mm -hmm. that fly around and mm -hmm. save the Earth from alien invaders and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, but this time, mm -hmm. this report, we uh, went to a robot store mm -hmm. in Akihabara mm -hmm. called V-Stone, and um, we saw some mm -hmm. state-of-the-art Japanese robots. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at that report. We are here in Akihabara outside a store called V-Stone. And inside the store are robots, robots, and robots of all different sizes, shapes, and configurations. And one thing they all have in common is that you can actually play with them. You can actually get down and manipulate these robots. So let's go inside and do some of that right now. Well, here we are in the store. Um, I guess this table's called the Challenge Corner. So what do we have here? Well, it looks like um, we've got a roach problem. Um, Solar powered roaches and grasshoppers. Okay. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh my gosh, it's actually following that line with pinpoint accuracy. Is it possible for someone to make their own line, to make their own track? Wow. Wow. Seems you can. Okay, we got some state-of-the-art electrical tape here. Looks like we're going for some hairpin turns. Oh my god, it works. It actually works. And it's no problem for the robot racer. Yes! And what is this astonishing thing you have here? This is a program that is Okay, and can we see this bad boy in action? Wow, it's kind of like a robo Segway. How cautiously it chooses its path. You could put some laser guns on this and make a Terminator movie, I guess. But for research purposes only. Not a toy, don't try this at home, etc. Great balance. You can take a hit to the front of the back and it keeps on ticking. And do you have any other exciting items you can possibly show me here at the Robot Center? What the heck? Oh my god, it's like a little person that can walk around. Can I play with your robot? Oh, wow, okay. I think I've seen one of these before. It looks like some sort of video game controller. Okay, uh, up. Well, look at that. Let me guess, this is going to go back. 
All right, now I'm going to do a barrel roll. Okay, wait, that's the side step. So we've got a fairly complicated dance routine going here. Okay, combination. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Let's try that again, shall we? That never gets old. So, what kinds of people exactly are into robots in Japan? What kind of people buy them? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
to use Roomba because uh-huh. Roomba has this size, I think. Oh. So my Roomba is very tiny I see. and small. I see. So Roomba doesn't cannot work uh-huh. very well, I think. Uh-huh. But yeah, another thing mm. in that store that was really crazy mm-hmm. was that um, you know they had robots for kids. Mm-hmm. They had the Tamiya Model Company who normally makes like tanks and airplanes mm-hmm. and. Military machines. They also make robot oh, models for mm-hmm. kids. Mechanical. There's like the walking pig. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a wooden robot dinosaurs. Um, mm-hmm. And the weirdest one was the solar powered Doraemon. Mm-hmm. Is it called the the so- Solemon Go? Sola. Sola. Mon. Mon. Go. Go. <laughs> the box is really great because it's a mm-hmm. giant, you know, Doraemon, mm-hmm. and Nobita's inside, you know, smiling. <laughs> Driving it around, mm-hmm. it'd be great. It, it's clearly Japan wants to build. Mm-hmm. Pardon me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, someday they they, they want to build uh, giant robots. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is the Gundam mm-hmm. that was in Odaiba, mm-hmm. the one one scale uh-huh. Gundam, mm-hmm. and also in now it's in Shizuoka, I mm-hmm. think. Um, but I really wish they would build a Doraemon at some uh. point that actually works, or the the car, the solar powered mm-hmm. Doraemon car would be uh-huh. great. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. Yeah. So, how do you feel about Japanese robots now after seeing the report? Are you impressed? Or do you think we have a long way to go? Yeah, I'm impressed because I know a robot is like this. Only this is my image. Toy robots. Robot. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So the now you can mm, get surprise. a bigger one that can roll over and mm. walk back and walk <laughs> forward. Mm. It, it's only moving forward. Uh, the ro- the remote con. Mm. This one only walks mm. forwards, but it also you know this never gets old. Mm. You know, the head mm. also turns from side to mm-hmm. side, and the arms do that. <laughs> um, but one other interesting thing about that mm-hmm. store is they have a strong kind of educational component. Mm-hmm. Uh, they teach classes to kids how to program um, that one robot that uh, traces a line. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, the guys who work in the store, like they said in the interview, they themselves uh, studied robotics. Mm-hmm. I always figure, you know, people in off the streets are just, you know, they just, I just need, a, hey man, I need a job. Can mm-hmm. I work in your robot store? Mm-hmm. But no, these guys are actually, you know, really highly skilled in the field of robotics. And mm-hmm. they were always just programming things and stuff oh. like that on the fly. Mm-hmm. So um, better living through science and technology. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like Japan is in very good hands. Uh, with the robots. Not only uh, these kind of small things, but they uh, lo- now the robot is getting bigger. A kind of a computer or AI system inside of it. Well, in order to program mm-hmm. it, in order to make it, you know, do different things, they plug it in like with a USB mm-hmm. port and oh. they program it to, mm-hmm. you know, um, move a certain direction, program different moves. And also they can program them to play soccer, mm-hmm. program their sensors to detect mm-hmm. different things. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, also communication robots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To talk to people, like say, like you're really lonely, mm-hmm. um, and no one will talk to you. Common enough problem <laughs> in Japan, probably. And uh, yeah, it'll say things like uh, "konnichiwa," oh. and then you will say mm-hmm. Koni- "genki konnichiwa." Hi, mm-hmm. hi, hey. genki desu. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating. It feel me more lonely. <laughs> you make you feel even lonelier <laughs> to have a robot talk to you. Um, well, I actually have something to communicate mm-hmm. uh, to the audience and yourself now, mm-hmm. and it's time to uh, wrap up the show. Mm-hmm. But before we do, it's time for the... I think this is this is the most thrilling part of doing this program with you, and this is when you read aloud the email address where people can send us questions and comments that I promise you someday we'll get around to answering on the air. Um, but before they do that, they have to know the email address, so hit them hard, man. O-V-Z at K-Z-Station.com O-V-Z at K-Z-S-D-A-T-I-O-N.com Wow, very robotic of you. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching, and Thank we'll you. see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Now I remember I have a R2-D2 robot. Oh, really? What does it do? They... Oh, today it has a AI kind of thing. Oh, really? AI system. So if I talk to him, you have a commun- You do have a communication mm-hmm. robot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. But first time that our today doesn't like me, so we have to oh. communicate a lot. We had to become friends first. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was. I'm sorry. No. No. Okay. <laughs>